not sure how this trick works. I know how to do it, and I can teach you how to do it, but I gotta be honest, every time I perform this trick, there's this moment where I think, there's no way this is actually gonna work, and then it does work every time. Every magic trick has a beginning, and a middle, and an end. And for the trick to work, the end has gotta be a surprise, right? But, what if you told me how the trick was gonna end? So what's the trick? You ask one person to choose a number. Name that number. 33. 33, yes! That's the end of the trick. And then you have another person think of a card. I don't know what your card is. I don't know where in the deck it is but I know where it has to go. Because that's the end of the trick. The place the card is gonna go 33. is 33. It's gonna be the 33rd card in the deck. I'll make it happen <laughs> right now. Watch, ready? And you know what position it's in right now, right? Yes. All right, I gotta take it out of there. That wasn't it. And even though you don't know what that card is, the thought of card appears at the chosen number. 16, 6, 12, 7, 7 28, 28, 29. 29. Now hang on at 30. 30. Let me ask, what was your card? Jack of Diamonds. Okay, let's keep going. 31, 32. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, come on. Oh, you can perform this trick with a borrowed, shuffled deck. There's no sleight of hand, no fancy moves. The trick just uses some psychology and an amazing secret principle. It sounds too good to be true, I know. And you won't be convinced this is really possible until you get the trick for yourself. And then the first time you perform this trick, you're gonna have the same feeling as me. You're gonna think there is no way this is actually gonna work, but it is gonna work and it's gonna amaze everyone.